So we're getting close to the end of July, and the new month brings new games to Xbox Game Pass. We're going to be talking about the seven new titles being added to the subscription-based service, as well as something finally being done about For Honor. Uh, They're doing something to that game that I never thought I would see a Ubisoft game do. But anyways, let's get into the video. Now, before we actually start, just wanted to say... I uh, appreciate everybody that came by the Xbox 2, checked out the podcast, showed your support. It really means a lot to me. Um, so yeah, I thank you guys very much uh, for all the support you've shown. Anyways, let's move on to Xbox Game Pass. So uh, Xbox Game Pass, for those of you who don't know, and I didn't do a video going over the 100 games in the service. Uh, maybe... If they ever revamp the service, I might take a look at some of the games. But uh, we do have seven new games entering the service. You can subscribe for $10 a month, which I think is a pretty good price for the quantity of games you do get. And, of course, you always can play free for 14 days, so you get a free trial. And you can play a lot of games in 14 days. But let's look at some of the seven titles. And I actually think this is a good addition. So you... I would say the crown jewel of this month is Dirt Rally. Now, personally, I haven't played this game. I have played the Dirt series before. I think it's a fantastic driving series. Not on the level of Forza, but then again, what is? But one of my friends, uh, Maka91 Productions, you may know him. He continuously and constantly raves about this game. And I checked the Metacritic before making this video... And it is sitting at an 86 on Metacritic. So this is a highly rated uh, racing game. More in the rally style. Very kind of sim orientated. This might be worth like subscribing for just to play this game. Since it's only $10. So I think that's a really cool addition. We also have Dead Rising 3. Now this is one of the games that <laughs> people have been clamoring to be games with gold. Since like games with gold started. Uh, never made the jump for whatever reason. But now it's being put in the Games Pass. I enjoyed Dead Rising 3. I thought it was a really cool game. I thought it was a pretty good launch title. And of course I use launch title in quotes. Because you usually have to give launch titles uh, more slack. Because they have to meet, obviously, the launch of the system. So they may not be as perfect or as polished as they should be. But I thought Dead Rising 3 was a fun time. Uh, you could check that out. I actually recommend checking out Dead Rising 3. I thought it was cool. Next up, we have Limbo, um, which is one of the best games on the 360. You guys all know about how much I love Inside and Play Dead uh, and Limbo. Uh, It's fantastic. Although this game has been given away for free on Xbox before, and that's kind of like a theme with a lot of these games being put in Xbox Game Pass. A lot of them have been games of gold or free at some point. But honestly... If you're one of the few people that haven't played Limbo, definitely check it out. It is an amazing experience and has spawned a lot of clones that have copied it but have never beaten it. Uh, next up, we have So Many Me. Now, this was a Games of Gold game uh, last year. I forget, I'm forget. i not exactly sure when, but it was a Games of Gold game. It's a puzzle game, and it's actually a charming, cute puzzle game. It's actually quite good. Uh, I have beaten the full game. I have all the achievements in it and things like that. I actually recommend checking it out. It is a cool puzzle game. But just like with Limbo, it is a game that has been given away for free before. Uh, the other game is Ultratron, which is a game that came out last year, the year before. It is a twin-stick shooter. Surprisingly, though, it is actually pretty good. Decently easy thousand as well. Limbo is a decently easy thousand. Dead Rising 3 takes a little bit of time to get all the points, and I think Dirt Rally is pretty tough. But Ultratron is a good game. A good value add to the service. Uh, I like the fact that they're adding a lot of ID at Xbox games to the service so more people can discover some of the great indie titles that are released on the service, like So Many Me, Ultratron, and this next one, although I haven't really heard a lot of good things about Pharonic. Um, I haven't played that game but from what I've been told, it's not very good. But hey, you're gonna get some some stinkers when you you know when you're trying to have a service full of a hundred plus games. And I think they're at what 114 games now, 115 or something like that. Not all the games are gonna be good. But then again, one man's trash is another man's treasure, as they say. And the final one is a 360 game, Metal Slug XX or Metal Slug 20. 
I have it on the 360. I think they even have a port of it on the Neo Geo uh, Xbox One. Metal Slug is a great game. Uh, I mean, it's a side-scrolling shoot 'em game. I mean, it's 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 great. It's a great game. Now, one of the things I like is there's a good selection of titles in this um, this month's uh, you know a variety. We got a racing game. We got a platformer. We have a zombie action game. We have a puzzle game. We have a uh, you know, a side-scrolling shooter. There's there's a lot of good variety here, a lot of good games, ones that aren't so good. But one of the things I kind of do like is the more focus on current games, current Xbox One games. I feel like Microsoft has maybe relied too much on 360 backwards compatible games to fill out the library to get it up to the 100. So it's nice to see them adding seven games and only one of them be a 360 game. I think that's cool. Um, but so far, like, seems like they're doing right by Xbox Game Pass owners. Uh, I want to know what you guys think. Are you going to subscribe for any of these games? You're going to pay your $10? You're going to try out the free trial? It's going to be interesting to see how Xbox Game Pass progresses as the months and maybe even years uh, continue to roll on. Because they did say none of the games will be leaving the service until November. So we're just going to get added and added more. I wonder how Xbox Game Pass will look a year from now. Anyways, that's the Game Pass stuff. We're going to quickly switch it over to For Honor. Now, For Honor came out and made a big splash. Sold a lot of copies. But eventually, down the road, people got kind of fed up with how the revenge system worked, the servers, things like that. And eventually, people just kind of stopped playing the game in a way that I didn't anticipate. I thought it would have legs. And I'm sure in a way that Ubisoft themselves didn't really anticipate either well they're talking about season three and season four and finally finally which may be a first for a ubisoft title they are we are finally getting dedicated servers now this is something that should have happened a long time ago uh for all their games whether it's ghost recon whether it's rainbow six siege whether it's the division and things like that dedicated servers means a lot to game you know to keep those uh, servers and, and people playing but they have a lot to do to fix for honor and they go over how they're going to do that what you're going to get in season three what you're going to get in season four so season three is august 2017 in november you have a new uh, fight system updates a new dirt duel tournament feature two new heroes two new maps new legendary armors and stuff like that and then next year or later this year season four is you get a new 4v4 game mode uh Two new heroes, two new maps, new tutorials, blah, 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 blah. But the bigger thing here is the dedicated servers. This game needs it. Now, the question also kind of runs is like, shouldn't have all this stuff launched with the game originally? Because I'm kind of tired of the fact that these Ubisoft games come out and then they spend all the time later on trying to fix the problems. Like, For Honor probably should have launched with dedicated servers. It, they, You know, it should have not have had run into the revenge problem. Similar things with like Rainbow Six or, or or The Division. Like the games, what they currently are, should have launched in that state. Like they're lucky Rainbow came back from the brink to be the juggernaut that it is, but it almost wasn't. You know, they, they fixed that game. And I'm just wondering if they're trying to copy that formula for these other games. Like launch the game, get a lot of people to buy into it, and when people kind of die off, try to fix what's wrong and hope... For the Rainbow Six Siege effect of people coming back in to try it. But that may have worked once. I'm not necessarily sure it'll work time after time. This is what so this is something that should have happened originally. But anyways, that's the video for today. I will see you all in the next one. Later, guys.